Some algorithms require multiple string array or array list objects to be traversed simultaneously. So for example, we'll write an algorithm to add two vectors. So I'm going to call this the array list vector1. And this will take in doubles. And we'll have another array list to store the doubles for a second vector. And then what we'll do is add some numbers to the first vector. So that'll be 2.0, 3.5. We'll pick another number. And for the second vector, we'll add some other numbers. And if we print these array lists representing those vectors, we have the following output. So if we declare a method, it's going to return an array list representing the result. So there'll be an array list of doubles. And we'll declare it as a static method because we're going to call it from the main method, which is also a static. And we'll call this add vectors. And that's going to take in an array list to represent vector 1 and an array list to represent vector 2. And what we'll do is declare a local variable to store the sum of those vectors. And that'll be a new array list of doubles. And we'll use a for loop to traverse both array lists. So we'll use v1.size to do that, assuming that both array lists have the same size. And you can do some checks to verify that that's the case, which I'll leave for you to do. So we have a double being num1, which stores the current number at index i in v1. And we'll have a similar double that stores the value at index i in array list v2. And then we're going to sum those numbers and add the result to the sum array list. And then finally, we're going to return the result. So given that this method returns an array list, we can pass it into a system.out.println call to print the resulting array list directly. So what we have is add vectors. And we're going to pass in vector1 and vector2. Which as we can see have the following numbers in each array list. So if we run the program, we can see that 2 plus 4.7 is 6.7, 3.5 and 3.4 is 6.9, and 1.3 and 7.5 is 8.8. .8. So we've traversed both array lists to add those numbers in the array lists that represent vectors.